know just what I needed. It's like we share a mind, honey. Thank you. Mm. Ah, crown black on the rocks. My favorite. What's up, everyone? My name is Mr. Sark. I very rarely do vlogs or anything of this type, uh, but I've gotten so many uh, questions and comments about what my life is like, and uh, I thought I would do a frequently asked questions video. Uh, one question you're probably asking yourself is, uh, what the fuck is that noise? That's a valid question. Two things. I live near an airport and I'm filming this entirely by hand on a GoPro. So the audio is probably gonna suck and uh, I apologize for that, but that's the way this cookie is crumbling. Uh, I was just out here enjoying one of my favorite books, Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks. And I thought we might take a little walk and talk uh, and I could answer some of your frequently asked questions. The first one, probably the most frequently asked question is, Mr. Sark, how old are you? Although it's usually phrased more like, uh, how the fuck old is this f I fucking can't believe this guy still plays games. Uh, get a real job, grandpa. Uh, and the answer to that question is I'm 38. I turned 38 this year. I've been gaming uh, basically my entire life. I wasn't allowed to play games when I was a kid. My parents didn't, uh, didn't want me to be distracted like that. So how'd that work out for you, mom and pop? <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing now, you fucking idiots? Uh, anyway, 38 this year, 2014. I'm gonna let you guys do the math on that from here on out. So uh, if somebody else asks, feel free to enlighten them. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and head inside. Get out of the heat. It's been blazing hot here in LA, LA where I live. Uh, 100 plus degrees some days. And I'm gonna be using a cheat sheet for some of this, so I'm gonna to refer to my phone for some of these questions. Gotta be quiet, there might be a baby sleeping. I have a three month old named Atlas. If he's awake, we're gonna meet him here in a little bit. Let me see what the next question is. Um, let's see, uh, how old are you? Check, favorite drink, check. Uh, what's this? Miles Davis the cat. We're gonna meet him shortly as well. Another frequently asked question I, uh, I get a lot is, are you high right now, man? Cause you look 420 blazed. The answer to that question, uh, and this is probably gonna come as a little bit of a shock to you, is the answer is no. 100% of the time it's no. I've never been high on camera, ever. On camera. No, but seriously, all marijuana does is make me tired. And before all you pot experts come in here and say, you, you gotta try the different strain, man. Have you hit that new sativa yet? It all just makes me tired. Um, next up, Atlas. Oh, I have on here, uh, how is Atlas? This is also, in the last three months, it's become one of the most asked questions. Atlas McLean Robison is my uh, is my son. And I think we're, I think he's awake. Yeah, let's go. Let's go take a peek at Atlas. <gasps> He's awake. Let's say hi. Stare into the alien eye. This is Atlas. He just turned three months old. He always weighs more, he already weighs more than most uh, six month old babies. In fact, you see this uh, little onesie that he's wearing that's stretched tighter than a, than a gymnast's leotard. This is a six month old baby's outfit. He's three months. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna grow up to be about 10 feet tall. Um, isn't that right? Isn't that right? Let's see if we can get him to smile. Baby. Hi, baby. Don't, no, don't stare at the toys. Stare. Yes, there we go. Up. Oh, yeah. Fart noises. Smile. Smile. God. Hey, yes, I know I love you too. It's a good thing you smiled or I would have <laughs> killed you. What? That's what I thought. 
Another question I get, and some of you may see uh, fairly regularly, is where's Inbox? And to, uh, uh, like with a little less frequency, where's Nerd Poker? So real quick, for those of you who don't know, I used to work at Machinima. Prior to that, I worked at G4, the, uh, the sort of, I guess, now mostly defunct gaming channel. Um, and when I moved to Machinima to help start um, Respawn, we uh, eventually began a show there called Inbox, where C Nanners, Hutch, and myself, and later APL Fisher, who uh, you can see around, he's around here and there, uh, mostly on Twitch, he streams a lot on Twitch now, he's hilarious. Um, we had a show called Inbox where, in the beginning, it was just a way to reach out to us, answer fan mail, that type of stuff. I hate saying it. It ended up just being a sort of an improv show where people would send us in preposterous questions. And we would answer them to the best of our ability on the fly. And uh, eventually, you know, everyone parted ways with Machinima and the show went away and people are asking if I can do Inbox again. But to be honest, I don't know if I will because um, I feel like it had its moment. And maybe someday I'll do like a little, uh, you know, mail answering question. It's not like that idea is exclusive to Inbox, but I, f I did it for so, I, for so long and I did it so hard that I'm taking a little break, I think. And then uh, Nerd Poker is a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Buddy. Come on, ha a little dignity. Holy cow. Thank you, honey. Uh, I, I was a dungeon master with uh, some of my friends on a podcast called Nerd Poker, some comedian pals of mine, and, uh, and I eventually had to uh, bow out of the podcast because I ran out of time and because uh, this little fella was inbound, uh, so uh, Nerd Poker, sort of, I had to take an extended leave of absence. And I haven't gone back yet only because I'm still super busy with YouTube, I'm trying to get into streaming, and I just don't have enough time. I really would like to, because D and D with the with that crew is so fun. But that's what Nerd Poker is. Let's move on a little bit. I think I hear the shower running. Atlas, say say goodbye. Say goodbye to the peeps. Say goodbye to the peeps. What are you looking at? There's nothing over there. What are you looking at? Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah, I hear the shower running. I think Mrs. Sark is in the shower. Let's get a little peep show going. All right. I'm gonna give you a little, a little shot of some skin. Get out! Okay. We're going to just move on to the next question. Um, the next question is, was, I get asked a lot about my editing. some lights I'm in my uh, I'm in the in the office now uh, I get a lot asked a lot about my editing I edit the way I do because I think that it's fun to edit and those are videos that uh, that I'd like to watch that's not to say that doing videos the way other people do is wrong it's not it's just the way it's just the way I do mine and some people hate it some people like it and uh, different strokes for different folks, man. This is the, the room here. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the actual uh, computer specs. It's a fucking beast of a rig from two and a half years ago. So it's not necessarily a beast anymore. Uh, games, books, those are all my, uh, all my consoles. Uh, I've got my two PCs down here. One of them I'm sort of getting set up to be a stream PC once, uh, once Time Warner pulls its head out of, well, it's something out of my ass. Some people have noticed I have these weird things on my desk right here. Uh, you know what those are? This is really uh, very strange, actually. Those are uh, hot pads knitted by my mother, which I have then turned into like an armrest. It's a little hot in LA, and with all this gear in this office, it gets a, sometimes a little warm. Uh, and so I don't like my, I don't like, I've never liked like sticking to a desk, even when you're not just dripping sweat, but you're just sort of warm. So I use those as my, <laughs> what's that? 
It's a fucking... I don't know. Another question I get a lot is, why do you only play Gmod? This is a valid question, and it's something that I've wanted to switch up on the channel for a while. Uh, the honest answer is, I just haven't had time for the last few months um, for a lot of gaming, just for the hell of it. So, um, I've been hopping into games with, uh, with the pals, and a lot of times they're playing Gmod, and that's the footage I get, and that's what I have to edit. And this is something that I'm... I'm really, the other day I hopped in and just played some random game for the first time in weeks and weeks and was like, oh my god, this is so fucking good. Uh, so, I'm going to be putting up some, uh, I'll start mixing it up a little bit as I start to accumulate that footage, but uh, I'm with you. I want to mix it up too. Uh, if you look at, I, I feel like a lot of personal gaming channels are like a window into that person's it's like reality TV. It's uh, like a my life in gaming, right? And and that is literally you can look at my channel, and that is literally what it what it's like. I just have not had uh, a lot of game time outside of that stuff. So I'm excited to uh, put some of that stuff up. I announced Stunt Squad forever ago, right when we started to have to go to like the the, the pre baby classes, and uh, we were like doing the the. The getting prepared for Atlas's arrival, so I announced it, and then immediately just it just fell clear off the off the plate. So uh, the stunt squad's actually going to be coming back very soon. So if you're involved in some of those emails and uh, friend invites and Steam group activities, then uh, stay tuned because I'm going to start recruiting for a shoot very soon within a week I would say I've got a couple ideas so stay tuned for that and I've also got a uh, I've also got a draw my life a lot of people are curious about not just my machinima and g4 days but also like the time before that the Mormon mission <laughs> uh, me as a kid all that stuff uh, so I figured I would do a draw my life but since my life has been several uh, centuries long I'm gonna break it into some uh, some episodes and I think I'm gonna pull a little a little spin on it that hopefully you guys dig so anyway uh, this uh, construction work in progress I was just building these um, this little cat run the cats were hopping up on the desk they would hop floor desk desk and then hide up here uh, so I built these things so that they could not do that and shake the desk um, here's a bunch of books I don't know some people ask me about these it seems a little boring to me but I do uh, love reading. Here's the tiny cat. This is Charlie Bird, aka CB, aka Charles, aka Chuck, aka Bird, aka Dipshit. Not the brightest, but he's so sweet. I'm surprised he's not running away right now because usually he bails. I literally keep this chair in, in here just for Chuck. We're gonna find Miles Davis here uh, somewhere. In fact, I might go roam real quick. Let's find Miles. Let's see here. Oh. Yeah. Turn here in the light. Let's see ya. There you go. Lay down, let me take a look at you. Get down on the floor. Freeze. This is Miles Davis Jr., the cat, AKA Miles D. AKA Bear, we call him Bear sometimes. This guy is not a dipshit. He's very smart, very sweet, but he is incredibly needy. And he will cry all night. And I love roughhousing him. I love roughhousing him. Come on, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Yeah. <coughs> Tell the people how happy you are. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. That's Miles Davis the cat. Last thing I wanted to do before I signed off, I had a stream, uh, I had a stream a few weeks ago when Time Warner really screwed me over and I had to back out. And I had just set up donations on my channel. And uh, I thought that since I don't have alerts or anything, oh, I got cat hair all over me. I would do some personal shout outs. I, obviously I won't be able to do this all the time, but uh, I'm gonna, uh, I wanted to thank the people that donated by name. 
Luther Z. Uh, uh, thank you. Master of Brownies. Uh, Michael Mac D. Sir Starfruit. The Check-In. Irwin. Lazy Pterodactyl. That Nash fan. Uh, Mal the Christensen. Malty Christensen. And Kittigus. You guys, uh, you guys are champions. Oh, thank you. It is... I'm not kidding you, LA is sweltering right now. Mm. Oh god. The nectar. Uh, Mr. Frost 231, Uncool Iowan, Lol Heck, Be More Fanatic, Z Ferguson, That Sniper Man 20, Ass of the Mohicans. You guys, I'm sorry there wasn't like a kick ass uh, donation alert. Once I start streaming regularly, I'm gonna put that in there and uh, we'll get it going so it's fun. But uh, in the meantime, uh, everyone was super positive, and uh, your generosity is mind-blowing, to be honest, um, because most of, most of these guys weren't even trying to game the system. There wasn't anybody that asked, like, hey, where's my alert, or whatever. It's just people saying, hey, thanks for the vids, get a beer on me. Uh, it was just awesome. So you guys rock. Uh, all you viewers that... Uh, <clears throat> All of you viewers that regularly uh, tune in, watch the vids, uh, you guys rock. And uh, like it says on my donation page uh, over on the Twitch channel, literally, uh, your support is converted immediately into baby diapers for Atlas to drop mad diarrhea shits into. So, I appreciate it. He appreciates it. Mrs. Sark, I'm sure, appreciates it. Um, and there's nobody else really in the house, so, uh, I mean, that's about it. I guess the cats, they appreciate it too. Um, but. You guys rock. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this answered some of uh, the questions that you guys have uh, about me personally. And um, I'll see you out there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.